Hey guys, I'm bringing to you an undervalued gem right now. It's Renda, and I'm so bullish on this coin. I know lots of people that work in technology who understand how rendering works, and they are so bullish. They see so much potential in this coin, which makes me build confidence in the capabilities of this coin. And with how fast the metaverse is growing, I think Renda is just so undervalued right now. I believe that it has the potential to 10x, 20x, and this is actually one of the coins that I'm bullish on even beyond this current bull market cycle. So let's get into it. So what is rendering? Rendering or image synthesis is the process of generating a photorealistic or non-photorealistic image from a 2D or 3D model by means of computer program. The resulting image is referred to as the render. Multiple models can be defined in a scene file containing objects in a strictly defined language or data structure. The scene file contains geometric viewpoint texture lighting and shading information describing the virtual scene. The data contained in the scene file is passed to the rendering program to be processed and the output to a digital image or raster graphics image file. Think of the term rendering as the concept of an artist's impression of a scene. The term rendering is also used to describe the process of calculating effects in a video editing program to produce the final video output. Okay, so my top reasons of why you shouldn't be ignoring render right now. So rendering is potentially available for the entire metaverse on chain and render is going to provide this for us. And let's be honest, that's like probably the future. Think about how big the metaverse has grown in such a small amount of time and how much rendering is going to be needed and what problems could be solved by render. So really big. And the fact that this project is only like under a billion dollars in market cap, I think that poses so much more opportunity for people like us to get in early. Their team is extremely impressive and I'm going to go through the team later on in this video and it's actually really significant to why I'm so bullish on render. So stay tuned for that. Rendering is already an established business. It's already needed for movies, gaming, NFTs, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's very vital to our current uh, technological infrastructure. And also so much power is needed for rendering. People don't realize, like I didn't even realize like how much power is needed for rendering. Like a lot of power, computing power is needed for rendering. So this project is potentially shaping up and I've heard people say it's shaping up to be the Amazon Web Services of Web3 or the metaverse, which is crazy. Just crazy to think of it in, in that regard. Um, and if you know more about Web3 and the metaverse, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of that statement. Um, so also when you're talking about, you know, what venture capitalists are looking for, they're looking for the next Amazon Web Services. They're looking for the next big tech uh, business to solve a lot of problems for the current technical infrastructure that we have. Uh, so I really like this. I made this slide and it's like, you have three options to render the metaverse. One, you can use your own computer and that would cost a lot of money because like rendering is very expensive and it, it takes a lot of computing power, as I said before. Secondly, you could use Amazon Web Services or other big tech or three, you could use render. Okay guys, so before I get into how render works and the mechanisms, I need you to understand Otoy. So Otoy has been at the forefront of GPU rendering for over a decade now. And the founder of Otoy is actually the founder of Render. So he knows what he's doing. He's been in the industry a long time. I have a lot of confidence in what he's able to do. So here we are on the Render website and they say that their vision is to democratize GPU cloud rendering. And the website also says the render network is designed to connect users looking to perform render jobs with people who have idle GPUs to process the renders. Owners would connect their GPUs to the render network in order to receive and complete rendering jobs using Octane Render. Users send the render to the individual performing the render work and Otoy would receive a small percentage of render for facilitating the transaction and running the render network. Once you've registered the idle GPUs on the render network, these GPU owners become node operators and are able to earn render tokens. They do this by accepting jobs from users in need of rendering work known as creators who send their files to the render network where they are assigned to operators. Renders receive a small percentage of the render paid in in order to maintain the network and facilitate the transactions. So that's kind of like the process of how it works, but I really want you to watch this video from the founder 
himself because it's really fascinating. He explains it in such a good way. So just watch this. Hi, this is Jules Urbach, CEO of Otoy. Otoy has been at the forefront of GPU rendering for almost a decade now. Our product, Octane Render, was one of the first GPU renders to provide cinematic realism to film jobs and television. Today, it's used in productions like the opening of Westworld, and it's also now a big part of video game development, especially for AR and VR. Octane is a very special GPU software. There is really no limit to the amount of compute power and render power that you can throw behind a render job with our software. Our idea is that at a certain point, scaling GPU rendering power is too difficult. Rendering locally on a network and even in the cloud just hit a wall. It's impossible to leverage all of the GPUs in the world efficiently without some sort of decentralized system that allows that to be tracked and managed. Today, we're very proud to introduce the render token, which is a ERC-20 token that's based on the Ethereum blockchain. This token will allow anyone to participate in render jobs and be rewarded with render tokens that they can cash in. Everyone creating renders and creating content through this system has authorship and chain of title established on the blockchain permanently. Our goal is not only to create a distributed peer-to-peer -peer network of unlimited rendering power, but also to have a marketplace where services and assets and even modules built on the rendering network can be distributed and shared and monetized by everyone. There's nothing that's gonna be rendered through the render token that isn't coming from artistic or creative intent. That's the whole point of the service. So there's a lot that can be done beyond just creating great artwork and media or even video games with this technology. Okay guys, let's go through this insane team. So you just saw that video from Jules Erbach, who is the CEO of Otoy and also the founder of Render. So he has all the knowledge, all the experience to really pull off this whole entire project. So awesome. We also have Ari Emanuel and WME is one of the longest running talent agencies ever. So awesome. We have JJ Abrams, who is the chairman and CEO of Bad Robot Productions, and they are a massive American film and television company. We have Brendan Ike who is the founder and CEO of Brave Browser, like the actual CEO of Brave Browser and the BAT token. And if you're not using Brave Browser, then I don't know what you're doing because you're missing out on free cryptocurrency, free BAT tokens. Really good browser as well to use. Uh, we also have Beeple, Mike Winkleman, like the one and only Beeple, probably one of the biggest artists of our generation. Uh, he's best known for like making these insane NFTs that sell for millions and millions of dollars. He makes short films, he makes graphics, all that kind of stuff. And obviously he would be using a lot of rendering. So this is just some of like an amazing, really like creative and talented team. And this is the team that we want to see behind a project like this. This is this is good. This is what we want to see. OK, so before I get started on the tokenomics of render, if you're enjoying this video, if you're finding it valuable, please don't hesitate to smash the like button and let me know what you think of render. Do you think it has crazy upside potential? What do you think? Do you think there are other options available? Let me know in the comments below. And also don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel where I make videos every week on how you can make money in cryptocurrency. Okay, let's get back to it. Render's market capitalization is still under a billion dollars and I find it so crazy. It has such an insane team. It is gonna be solving potentially a lot of problems for the metaverse. And think of how big the metaverse is. Think of how many tokens are in the billions of dollars with market cap within the metaverse. So just to keep that in mind, like this is potentially like such an undervalued project still. And although there are people talking about it, like I feel like it's not the most renowned project I've seen a number of YouTube videos on it, but I don't see that many notorious crypto influencers talking about render yet. So this is why I think it's a great opportunity to get in early. So let's go through some of the tech tokenomics of render. So 10% was given to team members and advisors with a lockup of six months. 25% was given to token sale purchases. 65% was given to user development funds to be flowed back to the network as demand increases. Okay, guys, let's look at some technical analysis for render. This is so exciting because we've finally pulled back. I've been waiting for it to pull back for like the last month and a half. Like we had a huge November. From the end of October, we ran up, you know, you know, over a thousand percent gains. So you need to keep in mind that like a lot of people that were holding this coin, when you run up that fast and that hard, a lot of those people are going to start selling and then that's going to 
produce or it's going to push supply back into the market, the market's eventually going to come down. I actually had my housemate ask me, like, do you know anything about this render token when it was just flying up? I actually bought it when it was flying up instead of waiting for a retracement. You always want to wait for a retracement, not only because, you know, you're potentially going to make more money, but also because it gives you more of an indication of where this coin is going. So this is why I've used the Fibonacci retracement tool. And another thing I want to show you guys is I actually see bullish divergence, which is why I've entered my trade in and around $4.20. So we this is bullish divergence, by the way, is where we have lower lows on the chart, but we have higher highs on the RSI. And you can see this is an indicative of a trend reversal. So we're trading in and around the 0.5 and the 0.618 Fibonacci level, but we're hovering more towards the 0.5 Fibonacci level. So, you know, it's crazy how much these levels actually, you know, hold true. I do think that this is potentially the, the trend reversal that we're looking for. So I have entered my trade in and around this level. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm out.